I would say the biggest issue is the double or triple or quadruple whammy of, of global change. And by global change, you know, of course, we mean climate change, but we also mean population growth, resource depletion, groundwater depletion. All of these factors are coming together simultaneously to create a really sort of a perfect storm over the next few decades. And so trying to figure out how to, you know, feed 9 billion people in 2050 is much more than just trying to figure out how to adapt to climate change. We are just starting to understand how to use nutrition to manage wellness and treat disease. Everything from depression and anxiety all the way through to obesity and metabolic disorders. We have 30 to 40 trillion microbes living inside us, some thousand to 2,000 species of organisms. This is an immense complex ecosystem which is changing our body all the time and our body is responding and reacting to it. We call this the microbiome, the understanding of the microbial ecology of our body, and how food changes that ecology can have profound effects on our health. When we grow bioenergy crops, we have to grow them in the same land resources and water resources that we use for food. So, so finding ways to grow both at the same time while minimizing environmental impacts is really critical. We have one world and our role as scientists is really to, to think up better ways to manage our land. We need to do that in a way that's economically competitive uh, and, uh, and supportable and sustainable. Uh, and that's really what we are trying to do. You know, so we're trying to, to, to find ways that make sense both from the environmental and the socioeconomic perspective. I primarily study these days climate change and its impacts on various human and environmental systems, agriculture, forestry, coastal systems. And what we do in my group is really try to figure out how we can better use data and comp high performance computation and models in order to really span that gap of scales all the way from precision agricultural technologies for farmers that they can more efficiently use fertilizers and irrigation water, conserve resources, reduce environmental externalities all the way up to providing information products for NGOs that they can better respond to um, emerging droughts and food crises as they're occurring um, on the ground in the developing countries.